Hi! So today, I'm going to do a craft video with you guys. So this week, my class, Tatiro class, is learning about reptiles, all those slimy little creatures. Well, this week, they just made frogs out of paper plates, and they are really cute. Something that you guys could do, just paper plates, and you can just cut out some two feet and glue on, and they can color it or do whatever they like with it. Well, today, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a snake. What you need is a paper towel roll, hole punch, if you need tape, get some tape, markers, paint, whatever you want to use to decorate the snake, string or pipe cleaners. It's a very simple old project and really fun to do. So what I did was start out with a whole paper towel roll, then you cut it into six pieces. Now you, oh, you, if before you cut it, if you want to paint it or color it before you cut it, you could do that or you could do it right after. So after you cut it, it's supposed to be in pieces like this. And then you use the hole punch to put holes in it. So for the head and tail, you only need one hole. For the rest, in the middle, you need at least two holes. If you want to kind of do it on the other side, you can. I just sticked on one side to make it go fast and simple. Another thing I did was take a string at the end where the head will be. So when you move it around with the string, it looks like a snake. So here's, like I said, with bonkers or paint, you could decorate it. And if you have any googly eyes, you could put two googly eyes right here. But I don't, so I'm going to use the marker to color some eyes in and stuff. And maybe another thing you could do if you have any like pipe cleaners or string, you could put a little red string here to make it look like the snake's tongue, or you could just cut out a long piece of paper, which I didn't do, which I can later on. So that it's a very simple but also very good art project for your kids. One, you could if you have a hole punch. It uses lots of hand muscles, so they have to push it down. If you don't, I use some scissors to cut a hole. And another thing, with pipe, pipe cleaners or the string, also teaches them how to work with our hands to put the string of pipe cleaners through these holes. So it's a good project they can try. It's a little challenging, but at the same time, it'll be fun at the end. So after you have your snake decorated, colored, and everything you want, and if you want to add the string at the end, it's actually it could be really fun because, like I said, you can make a, make a move like this. So it looks just like a snake. So it'll be really cute for them to have something to play with like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope your week goes well and many blessings and good health for everyone. And God bless. Bye.